Thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Just give me a, an idea. What is your mandate being given to you by the president? Do you have targets? Do you have um, a mandate looking forward for the next couple of years? What do you hope to do in this job? Thank you very much, uh, first of all, for having me this morning. And uh, yes, I must say that um, um, the Commission for Gender Equality, like any other Chapter 9 institutions that um, were established in South Africa in terms of Section 181 of the Constitution, Chapter 9, we have a particular mandate. Um, our mandate as the com uh, Commission for Gender Equality is basically to promote respect for the development and attainment of gender equality in South Africa. And again, we draw our mandate from the CGE Act, Commission for Gender Equality Act, number 39 of 1996 as amended. And we have powers to actually make sure that uh, we monitor uh, government institutions, business, private, um, and NGOs and everybody else in South Africa in terms of upholding some of the rights that are enshrined in the, in the Constitution. How difficult is this job going to be, you think? Um, thank you very much. And uh, I must also say that I'm amongst the nine uh, mm. uh, uh, commissioners that were newly appointed, yes. but I'm not new, basically, because <laughs> I've been uh, with the commission for the past um, year and six months, um, and I've been acting as the chairperson of the commission. So the job is quite um, difficult, uh, but simple because um, we have um, set ourselves certain targets. We have a strategic plan uh, as a commission, and within that strategic plan, we develop what we call annual uh, uh, performance plans, which in within those there are targets. And alongside with the performance plan annually, we have developed our own uh, draft monitoring and evaluation frameworks. But these frameworks that we have developed for ourselves are no way frameworks that are actually not aligned with some of the legislations and the laws that we have in South Africa. For an example, we do have an NDP Vision 2030 that talks about certain issues and things that we need to contribute to. We also have regional as well as international instruments that we have signed as the country. And the Commission for Gender Equality is actually aligned to some of those treaties, such as the Sustainable Development Goal 5, uh, such as the CEDOs and the Beijing uh, Platform for Action. So we are actually contributing to the big, bigger picture and the picture in the country in terms of making sure that we contribute to attainment of the targets that we have set for ourselves. Okay, in many ways, I mean, it's good that the government is taking this seriously and it's pouring, obviously, time and resources into doing it. But, okay, what, will, what difference can you make for, say, a young 21-year-old woman uh, who's just getting her first job in Bloemfontein? What difference can you make to her life? Well, uh, yes, uh, that's a very critical question, <laughs> basically, because the questions that we normally um, are asked uh, are saying that, what do you do for mm. a, an ordinary woman um, who is in a rural area who doesn't know anything about the Commission for Gender mm. Equality? What can you contribute to the life of that particular woman? And to answer your question, I must say that, first of all, um, we are now in the process of making sure that um, within the provincial uh, 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 offices that we have in Bloemfontein, in all nine provinces, we are going all out to make sure that we, we you know, with our outreach and legal clinics, we are able to reach out to that ordinary woman. But the second thing that we are actually doing, given the month as well that we are commemorating and celebrating, some of the achievements and, uh, and some of the challenges that we still have in the country. We are making sure that we are going all out to raise awareness about first the legislations that are out there that are speaking to the very ordinary 17 year old woman who is entering the world of works for the first time to say within that work, make sure that you have rights uh, that are enshrined in the policies of that particular company or government department. One of those legislations is Employment Equity Act. That should speak to how your salary should look like 
compared to your male counterpart. Sure. Because what we have seen happening lately is that there are huge gender gaps uh, or wage gaps in mm. terms of payment of salaries of about less than 29%. Because that's one of the big issues of it's the day, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. But, I, but, but my point is, is that, yes, I, I, I think it's... I mean, I was lucky I, I started in a newsroom like 40 years ago, yep. and it was 50-50 women, and there's, been, there's a majority of women in this building here. Oh, you know, yes. Everybody um, is, is on the same. But what I'm saying is, is that um, with private business, away from government departments, what can you do? I mean, if you say you went into like one of the major banks here and said, listen, let's have a look at your salaries, and let's see if everybody's on the same level or on an equal level, then they're going to say, well, <coughs> You're right. sorry, it's, You're right. it's none of your business. I'm glad because you mentioned <laughs> the, the banking industry. Yes. Um, uh, every year we set ourselves targets to say this year we will look at X uh, industry or let, mm. me let, you n let me tell you, we have uh, looked at private sectors mm. um, and we have looked at uh, big companies, national as well as small companies. Mm -hmm. um, I won't mention them here now but we have also looked at um, um, mining conglomerates mm -hmm. for an example in terms of uh, salary scales we have looked at government departments at all levels mm -hmm. and we are now going for the banking sector and last year only in our APP we looked at tertiary institutions mm. all 22 universities to also say bring let's see mm -hmm. um, what 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 is in your policies and what is your practice and what is the culture and Next year or year after next, we will actually be entering the banking industries to say, let's look at your policies, let's look at your procurement. Does it favor young people? Does it look at women benefiting equally to the procurement um, uh, issues that you have? And yes, my answer is saying that, yes, we are actually looking at private companies uh, as well. Okay, but the carrot is, we'll say, okay, have a more equal um, employment, um, it's more sustainable for the future, but what's the stick? I mean, what can the government do to true. banking companies if they're not complying? Um, that's a very good question. So we move in with our investigations, and when we are done with investigations, we produce an investigative report mm. that says we have moved into company X, and these are the findings. Within that report, there will be quite a number of binding recommendations mm. to say if your policy doesn't speak to your practice, improve that and we give time frames. And if your human resources policy is not actually complying with the Employment Equity Act and basic conditions of employment, for an example, go and sort that one out and we're giving you this X number of days or time frames to sort it out. And if the company fails to actually comply, we usually call them in for hearings, public hearings, mm. and, and definitely there would be penalties. Okay, but would the government go as far as to um, fine like banking companies, would you go as far as to withdraw their licenses? We, we would look at such, you know, such to say if it's really gross negligence and non-compliance, it will be fine and a heavy fine. And or we will actually, you know, look at, you know, taking a, a, a company's licenses for an example. You've got a lot of work on your plate next year. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank that you very was much. Thanks. Tamara Matabula, the acting chairperson of the Commission for Gender Equality.